No, I don't, I don't want to be on this show. I want my girl. I'm gonna go get her. Would you be up for me talking to you on camera for a few minutes? Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah. I didn't know anything about this show. I didn't, I didn't know it ended in a proposal until someone told me. And then I knew I had to do something. It wasn't easy to get to her. If I had to swim here, I'd do it. If I had to walk through that desert that I was walking through this morning, I'd do it. I'd climb every one of those sand dunes. Despite the time and distance that's been between us, she's the love of my life. She's the only one that I want to spend the rest of my life with, and we're soulmates. What's up, dude? I'm Ross. Hey, Ross. How are you? Good, man. I'm Becca's ex. I can't believe Becca's ex-boyfriend came all the way to Peru. It's a huge step to go from, we broke up a year ago, we haven't talked in months, to I'm going to propose to her. I mean, what? I'm just angry. This is me off. What's his right to come here during this experience, putting her through this? And that sucks because it's taking away from something that's pretty beautiful right now. It's difficult to think that that man is here. No, like, what are you doing here? I came to win you back. Ross, no. Like, no. How did you know I'm here? I can tell you the whole story. Oh, my God. I can't let you do this. No. Like, <clears throat> oh, my God. I stand in your doorway. Well, I'm not gonna invite you in. Um, I mean, we can talk quickly, but like. Yeah. No, this, is, this is not happening. I don't. Uh, <clears throat> what the? I mean, I'll talk to you for a little bit, but like, not in here. Uh, Clearly, I mean, you're not excited to see me. Well, no. I mean, like, we can sit on these. Can we just sit on these stairs? What the? <laughs> I knew you were gonna do this. Honestly. I know you did. <clears throat> so. I mean, these. These are your flowers. So I'm just gonna say what I need to say. <clears throat> I know that we had our ups and downs and plenty of setbacks, but like you've been on my mind for every single day of this past year when I haven't had you with me. And um, when, we, when we parted our ways and we both decided that it's just it, there, like it, it changed like at, at first that, that's what I wanted I wanted you to go live your life and get to the place that you want to be at and then it, no matter what Beck it just it always it always comes back to you no matter where my where I go or what I do my head and my heart they just always come back to you and, and 
Nobody compares to you. The intention was to win your heart back and do something big and then let you know that like nothing, nothing could stop me from getting to you or loving you. I wanted to marry you, Becca. That was my intention to come to you. I came here for us, and uh, I thought that, like, I don't know, it just, it just needed to be something big. That's the thing, it's like you think, like, I feel like you live your life in a movie, and like, you think it's gonna work out like the notebook, and like. That's... Yeah, I do, I do think that. <laughs> so I found out you were on the show, and then my heart sank. And um, at first, I, I just thought, my only thought was, I hope she doesn't get picked. I just hope she doesn't get picked. And then I realized, like, you have, you have a heart of gold and, and the soul of a saint, Becca, and of course this guy's gonna pick you. And I've been afraid of a lot of things. And I, I was never afraid that we wouldn't work out because I always felt like we would. Like some way, like some way, like some miraculous chance that we would work out in the end, like a, a miracle that I would somehow find you in Peru. And I came all this way to get you. I just I like... thought I, I, I thought there was some love in our heart still and no, oh, like, oh, I just, there's just like, oh my God. I seriously cannot. I've, I I've felt, I've felt something, I, I don't know. And the same thing I told, uh, told the guy earlier, I mean, it's, it's not a surprise that he could fall in love with you in two months. I mean, at first I was kind of like, there's no way. Wait, that you told the guy? Yeah, I talked to, I don't even know his name. You talked to Ari? Yeah. Today? Yeah. Why? I just wanted to make sure that I could come Ross, here and do this. oh my God. Like, oh, this is like and I told you, him I didn't, this I told is him like I didn't you to... inserting yourself into my life more yeah. and like that's not your place and like, yeah. it's my relationship. I just like, I thought I, I, I thought there was some love in our hearts still and. This is just so you and like, oh my God. You were like, holding just, on to like a shred of hope that we had like years ago, so long ago. Like we have both changed so much. Like you yeah. don't really know who I am anymore. I don't know who you are. And that, like I like realized I didn't really know who you were like towards the end of our relationship. It's just, you can't see like what we had wasn't healthy for so damn long. And there was just too much. Like I can't go back to that. Like. I don't want to go back to that. Like, I'm not, and I'm not here to convince you to. I thought I thought I was going to come here and you would agree. So I really. But have, why would you think that? Like I don't know in your mind why you would think that. Like, I still wish you the best, but like it's, I, it's like it ended yeah. for a reason. I wish you guys the best. I have no business being here. I 
don't want Ari to question anything of like where I'm at because like I know where I stand with him and like nothing changes like how I feel about Ari at this point. It's just such I don't know what he's thinking right now. Like I don't want him to like doubt or question anything.